get your ass up and go to work because Kim Kardashian said so. Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Athena and I create videos related to motherhood and uh, fashion for Kevy girls. I post videos every Monday and Friday. Well, that's the plan, but it doesn't always go this way, you know. But anyway, yeah, if you're interested in this kind of content, then, you know, stick with me. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, yeah, press the bell button so you get notified every time I post a video. And yeah, in today's video, I'm just, I just, I felt that I wanted, I felt that I wanted, I just felt that I had to do this, um, this video. I don't really do reaction videos and I don't Mama. really do talk. Well, sometimes I do. But I feel like I'm not really good at talking. But when I saw that video, I felt like I had to react to it. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. Have a good work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life. No toxic work environments. And show up and do the work. If you're this, it motivates you and inspires person. you. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I gotta hustle. So <laughs> but I, I think be back also in the yeah. room because you see everything on social media and you think, oh, it's just a lifestyle, or oh, it's like really quick and easy, and you can just post something, and it's not easy. When you do product shots, when you do post things that are work-related posts, it's still a job and it's still really hard. And success is never easy. So you just, if you put in the work, you will see results. It's that simple. Yes, so Kim Kardashian is giving us an advice, right? Like, if you want to be successful, you should get your, your bum, your ass up and go to work. And apparently that's the key to success, you know? And um, yeah, I mean, I partly agree, agree with that. Um, but... I think there's more to it like if you want to be successful there's definitely more to it it's not just that it's not just you working hard some people claim that you shouldn't work hard but you should work smart so yeah as I was saying um, it's not about working hard but it's about working smart and these women that's what they proved to us over and over again I mean it's not because they're working hard. I mean, it's that as well, because they do work hard. I can't, I can't say otherwise, you know? Uh, but it's not all about that. So I'm just putting on my socks. And to be honest, I find it quite hypocritical that they claim that, um, because they were already rich, right? They come from a family that is already rich. So, They've got a lot of things handed to them, isn't it? Like their parents, they've got connections already, isn't it? They've got connections with the rich people. So that helped them partly become successful. Also, let's not forget why Kim Kardashian became successful. One of the reasons is because of her inappropriate tape with your boyfriend right i don't want to say because i don't want to get demonetized or something like that but yeah i mean that's no there's many girls that that they've done this kind of tapes isn't it i mean some of these girls they are in the porn industry industry and they are making money they are successful so yeah it's not all about working hard isn't it it's about working smart i wouldn't say that it's smart it might be smart but it's immoral but for these people i don't think they care about morals they don't care about their dignity so they are willing to sacrifice that to become successful so let's just put it out there isn't it i mean you can either choose to go and work um as a nurse or whatever and, and earn up to here we got uh, 
it starts from maybe 30,000 pounds a year <coughs> or you can either choose work in a strip club and earn like I don't know 500 I don't know how much they earn but I'm sure they earn more than the nurses so um, in that case I don't think a stripper works harder than a nurse I don't think so because I work in a hospital and I know how that is I mean come on it's not about working hard it's about working differently and some of those methods that these successful people use are not really um, moral they are not really inappropriate you lose your dignity for success you know I mean they have a reality show they put everything out there all their private life is on the spotlight you lose some of your dignity by exposing yourself to everyone to see your personal life you know once again it's not about working hard but working differently to become successful for them for some people is using those dirty kind of methods I mean if I if I choose to I can do that as well like go on my Instagram I've currently have like 420 I think followers I don't even care I mean I don't really care about those things but I could choose to go there and just you know pose with my bikini or naked or have some sexy pictures that for me I will never do that because what I don't want to lose my dignity and um, I don't find it moral you know to show everything to show your body for everyone to see just to become successful and get money I just don't approve of that and I would never do that and that's the easy way isn't it so it's not always about working hard isn't it because me taking a picture of myself naked I don't find that hard isn't it it's not it's not hard it doesn't require a lot of job but yes still it might give me a lot of followers and then you know and then people will start uh, asking me to I don't know advertise for them on my Instagram you get paid for that big money in it but I wouldn't do that I choose the model I don't really like to use that word but the more appropriate way and also what does success mean like for every person is different if it's different i mean success for them is having a billion dollars i can do with i don't know five hundred thousand pounds a million max i can do with that i can live with that you know and have my small job on the side i don't mind that that's success to me as far as i'm using that money to uh feed my family to get my family uh, to study to get my kids to study and um, as long as I have, have a roof under my head and um, my cars and all that and um, as long as I have my small job on the side to give me to keep me going providing for my kids um, giving them the opportunity to study and and being able to do that and afford that that's success to me but for them they want a billion dollars they want billions billions of dollars that's success for them i think partly she was talking about you know these kind of people like that they are on her level like we can't be on her level we are just casual normal people can't compare with her isn't it so can't idolize her and think that oh I have to be like her you will never be like her because she I don't think you can do a sex tape and, and even if you do you're just gonna be uh, another person that does that did a, a sex tape and that's that's why I want to also mention that sometimes it's all about luck as well you know it's all about luck sometimes so Mama. not everyone is Mama. lucky enough to Mama. have rich parents Mama. or rich Mama. grandparents and Mama. all that but also Mama. to be successful Mama. i mean you might be able to Mama. have this money Mama. but it's Mama. how you're spending it Mama. as well that Mama. counts i mean if Mama. i if i have i don't know a million pounds and i decide to spend Mama. everything Mama. to the last penny Mama. then i don't have anything Mama. so it's how you choose 
this money how you invest so i would say again it's not about working hard or working smart it's how you decide to invest your money and then produce more money because of how you handle this money sorry about my daughter this video is a Sophia. i can tell already and yeah apart from that yeah as i was saying it's luck sometimes it's just pure luck like some people me i'm just i'm it's been like i'm on youtube for like a year and a half and i still i'm still not monetized i don't have a thousand subscribers yet but some people they just make one video like and it goes viral and they get millions of subscribers and they become successful overnight why can't i do that video why can't any of my videos be go viral because i'm not lucky you know that's i can't like i can create any video it can be high quality it can be a hot topic that is trending right now but it wouldn't go viral because another per and another person will go viral because they just they're just they're just lucky it's not because i'm worthless it's not because my videos are less you know a, a lower quality it's just how it is it's just pure luck sometimes you know some people they just get successful at night and it's just pure luck so it's not all about working hard you know and i find it so um i don't know hypocritical that courtney also agrees with her she goes like oh um it seems not that no one wants to do the job these days and Courtney's like, yeah, I agree. I'm like, you, you have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself. We all have different priorities. And like working is just, it's not my top priority. It's its never going to be. You always claim that, oh, like, uh, you know, I don't want to be in a reality show anymore. I want to be there for my kids and blah, blah, blah. You always complain, and it? Like about working and you, she always disagree with Kim. If you watch the reality, that's. You know she always disagree with kim you know it's not all about work it's about family as well which i agree but it's quite hypocritical for her to be to agree with her at that point and, and i think they they're already coming up with another reality show um so yeah i mean not everyone is lucky enough to be rich uh and to become successful not everyone has um not everyone can use illegal means or um or use some sketchy ways to become successful i mean as i said it's easy for an ig model to just uh, show pictures of your bum and expose it for everyone to see that's easy to do but that's that's the easy way and it doesn't require hard work but it can produce a lot of money for them so it's up to you At the end of the day do you want to have your dignity do you want to lose your dignity for money if hey if you don't mind that's fine but for me i wouldn't do that i've been working hard since i was 12 years old right now i'm 30 and uh, i mean i've got my house i've got my job that's okay with me but i'm nowhere near successful as they are I'm not a millionaire i'm not i don't have a hundred thousand pounds i mean i'm i'm nowhere near to them i'm nowhere near to their success i'm still working hard but I haven't got to that level so it's not all about working hard you know it's not so let's just not pretend that it's all about hard work because i've been working my whole life if it's about if it's just about working hard then i will be like a billionaire right now like seriously because i'm a very hard pe working person but anyway that's just my thoughts leave me a comment down below what do you think about all that i mean what do you think i don't know like what are your thoughts i mean it can be inspiring for some people but uh for me it's i was just like tell me something i don't know like you know just tell me something i don't know because these conditions they really exploit people as well like i don't know for sh 
like i watched some videos on them and stuff and they can really manipulate people to get what they want so it's not all about working hard it's also about being a narcissist it's also be a manipulator or caring about other people but only yourself you know so yeah so let me know what you guys think um leave me a comment down below let's stay let's get the conversation going you know and um i'll see you in the next one bye All night long, yeah. We dance with our razor and tongues and all day long.